Taking flight right from the very start, the Eagles offense has piled up the points and the W's, cementing their place as NFC frontrunners. But hey, now the real test is here. It's time for some playoff football. While the ascension of Jalen Hurts has received much of the credit, and of course rightfully so, it's the man behind the play sheet that we'll be focusing on today, Shane Steichen. This much success will draw eyes from around the league, and let's be honest, he's going to be a hot head coaching candidate this offseason. So let's see how he's been drawing them up. Let's start with the aerial attack, where Philly has a pair of darts too difficult to defend. An actual living, breathing human, not some sort of Madden simulation, really traded them AJ Brown in his prime, allowing them to create a deadly 6'11 pairing with first round pick Devontae Smith. Both gifted with the ability to stretch the field and a great catch radius, Steichen gets the best out of this duo by routinely lining them up on the same side of the formation, helping reveal coverages and create mismatches. Devontae Smith is in the slot on this one, with AJ Brown flanking him at the X position and Grant Calcaterra will motion, moving both tight ends to the same side, helping reveal the coverage. To match up effectively in man against both top wide receivers on one side of a formation, defenses have to shift their second corner over. If they don't, it's likely zone, or they are about to get caught in a bad matchup. Here, safety Julian Love is Smith's closest coverage defender, so we can be pretty sure this is zone, and Hertz knows where to go. Built into the route combination is a way to attack either man or zone. The tight ends and back run a spacing concept, aiming to stretch the defense horizontally if it's zone. And the backside twins are running a man beater, with Devontae running a corner, and AJ flattening his inbreaker based on leverage. It's zone, so Hertz correctly goes to his tight end, finding him in rhythm for the first down. Smith is a motion man on this one, and with Kyler Gordon tracking him across and into the slot, Hertz can be pretty confident he's seeing man coverage. The Eagles, again, have that spacing concept called on the tight end side, with Smith and Brown running double slants on this one. Allen Williams, the Bears defensive coordinator, knew this was coming, sending the backer blitz and dropping the end as a lurker. But Hertz rips this to AJ before we can get there, and Brown is just too strong on the slant. And here it is again against the Giants. Wink loves to send pressure, and the slot and outside backers sneak down too early, allowing Hertz to know it's man. And once again, AJ is too good on the slant. Steichen takes it to the next level though by getting his guys open through great sequencing. Here's a less condensed formation with AJ and Devontae once again lined up on the same side. Dallas is a team who loves to play a lot of man coverage, and thus they want their best corner, Trevon Diggs, on the Eagles' best receiver, Brown. He's got wheels though, so he's got to give him some cushion, and Steichen once again calls a slant for AJ, allowing him to use his big frame to shield the ball and move the chains. On the next play, they'll flip the formation, but leave Smith behind as the lone receiver, moving Pascal to the slot. The Cowboys give them an almost identical look with a single high safety, Diggs traveling to cover AJ, and 36 once again in the slot. And he's got him right where he wants him. Knowing Diggs is a good corner who loves to read patterns and try to jump routes, Steichen calls what looks like the same play. However, AJ is running a sluggo this time, and the double move burns Diggs deep down the sideline. And of course, you can attack vertically from the slot too if teams give you the correct look. It's third and short here, and Chicago is in what appears to be a very clear cover one man. Weary of the quick slants that the Eagles have been running from these sets, Kyler Gordon takes inside leverage, a no-no in cover one, and Smith now has the whole boundary area to work with on that fade. Hertz drops in a beauty, and it's a big chunk pickup. And it's not just limited to these twin sets, Steichen moves them both round the formation to exploit mismatches and gain intel on the defense. Here, the Eagles go spread, but their two top threats are in the slot. Patrolling the boundary are Jair Alexander and Rasul Douglas, meaning that this is almost certainly zone or they're both matched up with linebackers. Steichen will force that mismatch on a backer with the route combo, sending both the one and two receiver on the trip side long, forcing Jair and Nixon to carry them, leaving Chris Barnes the closest coverage man to Devontae Smith, and he's absolutely not sticking with him on the out. More creative alignment and route combos here create a deep shot, with Smith out as the solo receiver and AJ Brown topping the tight bunch. They'll go play action here with Smith using his wheels on the post route to hold the safety, allowing AJ Brown's longer developing sail route to burst into the open field. 
watched the great dip to get under and round his man's punch on the stem. Then, as soon as he feels he's got him on his back, sharp cutting back right away from help into wide open grass. And this one's drawn up for Smith, but Hertz was intent on getting the Titans GM fired. Back on the same side of the field, Eleven is going to run off his man, opening up the space for six on the deep out, which works perfect. But as he said, AJ had some revenge to eat. And have we got the perfect drink to pair it with, the sponsor of this week's video, Athletic Greens. AG1 is a daily micro habit that makes it easy to absorb key nutrients, lead a healthy lifestyle, and feel your best no matter what the day holds. One scoop, one minute, once a day, every day. AG1 is a comprehensive all-in-one foundational nutritional drink that serves everyone from guys watching film to the players on the field, no matter how busy your schedule is. It tastes great and the perfect way to start off my day because it contains all natural ingredients and key vitamins that support gut health, brain health, and gives me the energy I need throughout the day. I've been drinking AG1 throughout the year and I've put the entire Thinking Football team on it to help them get right to start their day. Tap my link in the video description to get a one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3K2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase. You cannot put a price tag on your own health. Thank you again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. We covered just how dominant the Eagles' ground attack could be in our first team breakdown of the season, and the bully ball continued throughout thanks to a very creative scheme and the league's best offensive line. The push they generate regularly has runners four, six, even eight yards into opponent's territory before they're even touched. If you include the handoff from Shotgun here, Boston Scott gets a full 10 yard run up at Jason Pinnock. And no amount of lowest man wins matters with that momentum, especially if you don't try to wrap. Here, they're running a pretty common power play you see throughout the league, pulling the guard to kick out the edge with the back following the tight end. Every big body on the line not only wins their rep, but does so with form and power, meaning Sanders isn't touched until seven yards past the line of scrimmage. Julian Love finally gets a shoulder to him, escaping the poor block from Pascal. The level of athleticism allows them to run plays that other lines simply just wouldn't be able to do. He's an all pro for a reason, and watch how Jason Kelsey will pull here straight after the snap, getting round his left guard to get up to the linebacker. Gainwell has the wheels to match Kelsey, getting wide through the created gap before cutting upfield for the first. And here it is again on the trap play. Landon Dickerson and Jack Stahl immediately release to get to the second level fast, leaving Jaron Reed with what looks like a clear path to the back, only to be blocked out by the trapping Lane Johnson. Sanders hits a big hole, shrugging off two high arm tackles and darting his way in for the score. And this is all before you get one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league involved. The Ravens brought this concept bash to the NFL a few years ago, and Hertz has excelled in running it. The left tackle and guard both pull, with Hertz operating a read handoff with his back. If the end crashes down, Hertz hands it off to his back. If he stands up to play him, Hertz keeps it and follows his blockers. 51 does exactly that here, so Hertz follows the big bodies inside. And here it is again against Green Bay, who they absolutely torched with this concept. Again, Hertz is reading the end, and with 55 staying wide to defend Sanders, Hertz calls his own number, following his pullers down I-95. In this offense, Hertz is the power back, and that's exactly how they use him here. Hertz will catch the shotgun snap, take a read step, then follow his pulling guard, and back through the hole. The blocking is pristine, and Hertz hits a great seam. His shiftiness allows him to avoid the big hit in the hole too, powering for three more. They love to use his legs from the empty set, spreading out the space and letting him run away from defenders. Gainwell starts in the backfield in this double set, but will swing motion out left, lightening the box with 51 following him. This is perfect for the Eagles as it leaves them 5-on-5 five five in the box with the QB draw call. Jason Kelsey quickly climbs to the cement-footed Quay Walker, and Hertz has acres of space to run into. Here it is again against the Giants. Sanders will swing motion out this time to create four strong to the near side, and Pinnock the safety and Jalen Smith shift that way expecting the ball where the commotion is. However, this was again to clear out the box. But it isn't just a QB draw this time, with Kelsey and Mylata both pulling to guide the way. Hurt's legs are too fast, allowing them to leave Thibodeau unblocked, and a great cut off Kelsey's back leaves Hurt's jogging into the end zone. And these are just the design calls. 
Jalen has been absolutely fabulous at recognizing when everything is shutting down and his number is the correct play. Wink likes to play a lot of man on the back end of his heavy modal blitz scheme, so this could be a key component in their playoff game. And while we've talked about the creativity in the run game, something I love so much about Steichen is his willingness to call the same play over and over if it's working. He's not afraid that you'll know what's coming. He knows his line will win the matchup and push you over. Speaking of which, there's one last run that we gotta discuss, if you can even call it that. The Eagles have taken the quarterback sneak to levels of absolute absurdity this season, creating a full-on battering ram and it's frustrating teams to no end. An all-pro line and a quarterback that squats 600 pounds makes this difficult to stop already, but the Eagles have evolved things even further. They're playing this with virtually no splits between their line and two backs up as if they're in victory formation, whose job it is to shove Hurts over the line. If you submarine the blocks, well, the line just flattens you and Hurts powers over the top of the bodies. But if you stay too high, the leverage is easily won and you're going backwards. Honestly, it's a catch-22. You've got to win the leverage battle, so getting low is the answer, but you're out-muscled with the quarterback and pushers. So I'd expect to start seeing defenses try their own push, using the linebackers to push the D-line to try to counter the advantage. But of course, if you commit too many bodies inside, they can just pop it wide. Pushing the runner like this used to be illegal in the NFL, so don't be surprised to see some salty teams bring this up when the competition committee meets later this year. With an offense firing on all cylinders and quite literally shoving the other team off the ball, the Eagles look ready for that January football push. Shane Steichen has impressed on tape all season long, so Sirianni better be ready to find his replacement. Let's see if he can extend that job until February. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out our breakdown on the Giants defense or how Doug Peterson has the Jags rolling. Take care.